The seventh and final process of the project time management knowledge area is control schedule. It's the only one that doesn't fall under planning, but instead the monitoring and controlling process group. It is the process of monitoring the status of the project activities to update project progress and manage changes to the scheduled baseline to achieve the plan. The key benefit of this process is that it provides the means to recognize deviation from the plan and take corrective and preventive actions and thereby minimize risk. As the project activities are being performed on the project, the majority of effort in the project time management knowledge area will occur in the control schedule process to ensure completion of project work in a timely manner. The ITTOs for the control schedule process are as follows. The key inputs are project management plan, which contains the schedule management plan and the schedule baseline. The schedule management plan describes how the schedule will be managed and controlled. The schedule baseline is used as a reference to compare with actual results to determine if a change, corrective action, or preventive action is necessary. Another key input is work performance data which is the raw information gathered about scheduled performance and progress, such as which activities have started, what their progress is, and which activities have finished. Let me highlight a few key tools and techniques in this process. We have performance reviews, such as trend analysis, which examines project performance over time to determine whether performance is improving or deteriorating. Schedule performance measurements, such as Schedule Variance, or SV, and Schedule Performance Index, or SPI, can also be used to assess the magnitude of variation to the original schedule baseline. Project Management Software can also be used for scheduling and provides the ability to track planned dates versus actual dates, to report variances to and progress made against the schedule baseline, and to forecast the effects of changes to the project schedule model. The key outputs are Work performance information, the calculated SV and SPI time performance indicators for WBS components, in particular the work packages and control accounts, are documented and communicated to the stakeholders. Schedule forecasts are estimates or predictions of conditions and events in the project's future based on information and knowledge available at the time of the forecast. Forecasts are updated and reissued based on work performance information provided as the project is executed. Change requests can also be a likely output here. Schedule variance analysis along with review of project progress, results of performance measures, and modifications to the project scope or project schedule may result in change requests to the schedule baseline, scope baseline, and or other components of the project management plan. Again, these change requests are processed for review and disposition through the Perform Integrated Change Control process. Any approved changes that result in changes to the project scope or impact activity resources or activity duration estimates would require the schedule baseline to be updated to reflect such changes. Before closing this module, let's take another quick look at the ITTOs for all of these processes so you can see how they really have to be done sequentially. The outputs from one process become the inputs for the very next process, whose outputs become the inputs for the next process, and so on. And that completes this important module on project time management.